Hello, welcome back. Mike from Canavan Wealth. Uh, this article just went up on the website blog. It's a fun little article when it came across my desk uh, from our marketing folks. I thought, you know, some people might find some value in this, especially uh, if you got kids that are going to be home for the summer or maybe you're going to have the grandkids for afternoon or a long weekend or something here in the near future. It's really just a couple of games that kind of teach uh, financial responsibility and financial concepts, you know, stuff like Monopoly. And there's some digital stuff down here, uh, if that's easier. I, I really want to take the opportunity to talk about kind of this age, you know, kind of uh, pre-teen or, or, you know, kind of early teen uh, age in, in teaching financial responsibility. I think it's a tough area. So there's just, a you know, kind of a couple of concepts I wanted to cover. I'm certainly not an expert on raising kids. Um, although my two are, you know, the fun financially responsible and ready for life, uh, which I think is important. I think the first one is, is when, especially for very young kids, when we're explaining why they cannot have something or something along those lines, if it is about money, then I wouldn't shy away from that fact, you know, something as simple as, you know, that's not what we spend our money on if they want candy at the grocery store or something frivolous. I think the explanation of, you know, if they ask, I want it, you say, no, they ask why, because that's not what we spend our money on. What do we spend our money on? You know, it's more important that we're able to buy you a jacket or, you know, being able to play outside to school and things like that. The other, the next one is um, allowances. I've never been an allowance person. My wife wasn't. My kids never received an allowance. I don't really have strong feelings if that's the way you go uh, as a parent. I think if you treat it appropriately, um, I was always, we've always lived in a family where the needs were always met. <clears throat> Otherwise, we were on our own if we wanted a new Lego set or something along those lines. That's what Christmas and birthday money, maybe a little bit from the grandparents or something like Valentine's Day or something. Um, and then, you know, and then really the third one is working young. I started mowing lawns as soon as my dad thought it was safe for me to be around a mower. Uh, they always provided me, you know, kind of the mower and the gas and things like that. I started mowing my own lawn, I think for five bucks an hour on this big riding mower. We had a five acre lawn when I was a kid. And then that led to me mowing other lawns. I very quickly realized that my services were far more valuable outside of my own family. Uh, you know, if I could mow the neighbor's lawn for 25 bucks and it'd take me an hour to mow my lawn for three hours and it would take, you know, I'd make 15 bucks or something. So you, know, you can start to learn stuff really. My kids, my son started refing hockey, which is kind of an odd one, uh, as young as 12, I think. And my daughter, you know, babysat effectively from as soon as she could kind of quickly learned she, that that wasn't for her, but she found other ways, you know, she started getting involved with the dog kennel, which was really great. So, you know, this is a tough age and, and I'm, I'm no expert on raising kids, but I think it is important to start young with kids, not making them obsessed with money, but certainly so that they understand that many of the limitations in life are around money. And, you know, it's, it comes back to this general theme I have about teaching financial responsibility, which is showing kids, preteens, teenagers, the fact that their relatively comfortable life is because of the financial security that their family has worked very hard towards and that that is fragile and, you know, important to maintain. That's it. If you have any questions, you can always email me at mikecanavanwealth.com. Like the video, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.